Welcome to Jebby TV. The Oya State Police Command has alleged that the state security network, also known as Amotekun Corps, usually has sought suspects and extort money from them. The State Police Command on Tuesday advised Amotekun to desist from assaulting suspects. The police said some of the suspects arrested and brought to the station by Amotekun were in poor health conditions, not admissible for detention. The State Commissioner of Police, Joe Mwachuku Iwonwo, in a statement issued through the State Public Relations Officers, Ulubenga Fadeyi, said a case to buttress the, uh, the above is an incident reported at a Igbora police station involving one Alaji Umoru Saliu. Amotekun operatives reportedly stormed Alaji Umoru's residence. They were said to have been about 30 in number. According to the report, they allegedly shot sporadically into the air, carted away the sum of 350,000 naira taken from him and took an undisclosed amount of money from his wife before whisking two of his boys away to the nearest police station. They alleged the that they were arrested during an armed robbery operation. The police boss denied the allegation that they were not supporting the activities of the Amotekun Corps in the state has been alleged on social media recently. He said the Nigeria Police Force as an organization is jurisdiction sensitive and structured in such a way that offenses committed in a particular area responsibility cannot be treated in another. As this is done for efficiency and accountability sake, the original site of the robbery has gathered that the officers on duty as at the time of the case transfer and from the news is Iwo Road area under the responsibility of Agodi Division. Investigation also revealed that no case of armed robbery had been reported at the division or any other in its environs as at prior to that time. This is something to look into and to do so. The enforcement of jurisdictional policy must be observed. The Amotekun operatives had earlier visited Mokola Division where they were advised to the best of the knowledge of the receiving officers and with the information at their disposal that the division with the AOR to best handle the case was Yagonku Division. Upon getting to Yagonku Division, the officers at the receiving end, after critically analyzing the story and taking its origin into consideration, did not reject the suspect but directed that the suspect should be taken to Agodi Division, a directive that was disregarded, which led the misconception making the rounds. The Commissioner of Police wishes to inform the general public that the command is more than over committed towards partnering with sister agencies and local security outfits towards bringing the level of crime to the barest minimum in the state. In view of the above, the Commissioner of Police wishes to inform the leaders and by extension men and va of various security operatives within the state to desist from high-handedness and treatment of suspects with antipathy. They should stop inflicting serious bodily harm on them, which oftentimes results in death. It has also got to the attention of the Commissioner of Police that some suspects arrested and brought to the station by other security operatives usually brought in terrible health and bad conditions and not admissible for detention, leaving the police with no option but to demand the treatment of such a suspect. Treatment of such a suspect. One of the boys was shot before being brought to the station where he was denied admission into the detention facility for obvious reasons of being medically unfit. He was returned to the commander of the Amotekun Corps and his team for treatment. He was thereafter taken to the hospital where he died on admission. Investigation is still in progress as is done towards ensuring that justice deserved is, dis is served. The CP wishes to unequivocally state that henceforth suspects in bad health conditions or cases without complainants or witnesses will not be attended to. Like seriously, you see you. Men are see police. Now police call they do that kind of thing. You can imagine. 
Hey, ha! Ulisi. So police can come out and say all of this. And since Nice Popporopo, they have been involved in this kind of a thing. They always deny it. They never come out to tell us that, oh, some of their men are involved in this. And this is what majority of the policemen, this is what they do because we cannot even use one brush to paint all of them. We still have very, very good people among the police force. But majority of them are very, very bad. And that's those are the people you see every day, almost every time. The good ones, you see them once in a while. It's very, very difficult. They are very, very rare to see. The good people among the policemen, they are very, very rare to see. And, you know, your guess will be good as mine. Because if you take the percentage of the bad one to the good one, you know what it is. It is not the police coming out to tell us how many times has police condemned what most of their men do. You see? I know that there's something, because a lot of people have been talking about it, there's a way, it's something the police people are doing just to paint this Amotekun. Amotekun that has not even gotten his feet, they will not be involved in this thing. Nobody's going to be making excuses for people. Their operation fully, that they have started, it's not even in all the five uh, states. They are not even up to, up to five months they've started. At least Lagos State and, uh, Lagos State and, what is it called, Anugu State, they've not even started their own Amotekun. We don't know what they are waiting for. And especially Ugu State, where we have a lot of a, a, a people farming. They have land that people are farming. And they have been going through a lot from this uh, Fulani Esme. What is the governor waiting for to be able to establish a Motekun? And the three states that have started, I think, uh, yes, Ondo, I know that one, but Ekiti, maybe. But at least Ogun has joined them. Okay, Oshutu. When did they start? Have they really started fully? Yes, it's been one year they've been inaugurated, but according to what they were telling us, they, they have not even up to five months in operation. And now they are just starting and knowing fully where the way they started that uh, even a lot of people don't even want them. Now, Mieti Allah is talking about how to join them. And now you are beginning to say they are this, they are that. Hell, police. Police. You see the way they are just trying to exonerate themselves quickly, quickly. They want to make themselves good before the people. Amotekun. Hmm. Nigeria police is well known to us, highly politicized and practices sectionalism. Well trained to lie in order to confuse the truth. We shall overcome one day. Amotekun will succeed anyhow. Hmm. When you check carefully, you will see that those police claimed were in poor conditions and cannot be up detained. A full any people. You know they are untouchable. Of course, who does not know? Who does not know? Who does not know? Hmm. <laughs> In bad condition. So the Amotekun, they will just beat people mercilessly and you not take it to... Ah, we say. We not fear God, do. Make not fear God, do. The police is looking for a way to discredit Amotekun, but it won't work. I will always also advise the operatives of Amotekun to play by the rules so the police don't succeed in sabotage, in the sabotage. Amotekun is gradually taking away the shine from police in your city. Hence, they have resorted to campaign of calumny against them. You see how police have started their sabotage. The police must stand with them. They are doing a good job. Police now are medical personnel to know the conditions of the suspects. Nothing good from them. People helping them to do the job they're supposed to do. They are complaining. Believe the Nigeria police at your own risk. You think the police is happy that the Amotekun is doing better than them? Surely they must find a way to discredit them. You never know Nigeria police. If no be them, do the work. The work is not well done. So police is taking side with suspects. Envy at work. If they are not well followed your standard procedure. Criminal ac accusing criminal in a country filled with criminal leaders. Wonder shall never end. When did police become the mouthpiece of those victims? The affected people should be allowed to give account of what happened and not police telling the public what transpired. And who is that police saying all this? What do they used to do if they if they too want to make arrest? They want to spoil Amotekun by all means. Police wants Amotekun to be under them, and that is the reason they are blackmailing them. Of course, of course, everybody knows that. So, guys, let us hear your opinion. Leave your comment below and let us know your thoughts on this. Thank you.